Hi, this is Jeff from Airstream Nerds, and today I'm going to put a safety device on my propane tanks. When I get back, I'm going to tell you all about it. It's been song, it's been song, Cruising to the campsite singing our song. It's been song, it's been song, we are Airstream Nerds. Okay, by now you guys know that the propane tanks are up here in the front underneath this cover. I've got a couple of things in there. Got my water hose. Now, one of the things you need to keep in mind that it's hollow underneath and sometimes bees like to build nests in there. And as a matter of fact, I have one in there. So let me grab something to take care of that. Okay, so I see one here that didn't have anything in it, but I have seen a couple of of um, bees or, or whatever going up the bottom. So there may be another one down below where I can't see it. Now I've got a couple of, of devices in here. I have the extender for my camera system. So I just unplug the power to that. And I mean, you just take this thing out. Take this thing is out, it's pretty easy. You unscrew the, the big wing nut that's on the top and lift it off. Do that without getting hit by a bee. Let me look and make sure that there's... Nope, that was the only thing in that part anyway that I can see. So now we have access to our tanks. There's the beehive, it looks old, or hornet's wasp nest, whatever. And I do not see anything else under there, which is good. I mean, it could be somewhere down in there, but this is what we're working on today, so this is what we're gonna worry about today. So all we're doing today is we are replacing this portion here. On this tank. With these, it's a super simple process. But I'm going to put the wing nut back on just to hold stuff in place while I take it apart. So that'll just keep everything together. Okay, so a 9 16 um, wrench is what I'm gonna use here. And I'm just going to take these hoses off of the regulator. Uh, I don't know if that's called a regulator. Basically what that valve does is it, when one tank is empty, it switches over to your other one. So I got one hose off. Okay, old hoses are off. Be right back. So they've used what looks like pipe dope, which is kind of like plumber's putty. It's basically a putty type form of the tape that we're going to use instead. So I just want to make sure that I kind of get that. any loose pieces out of there. 
So you can see right there, you can see where that the, the, it looks like putty in there. So I'm just making sure that, that there's no loose particles in there when I, um, before I put the new pipes on. Just using my fingernails, but you can use a, like a screwdriver, just Just make sure that you get it nice and cleaned out and look inside the orifice and make sure there's none in there. Looks like there's a little piece in mine, so I'm going to get a little can of air and blow it out. I'll look at the other side here, make sure. Yeah, there's a little piece in there as well. Okay, I mean, you can pick up cans of air at almost any hardware store. Um, so now we have the valve here, and we are going to attach the new hoses to that. So you're going to take the Teflon tape and you're going to wrap it around. Make sure that you don't overlap the, the hole. It's really just for the threads. You don't need to wrap it 50 times. Once or twice is good. Then I like to take my fingers. So you can see here, I like to take my fingers and smooth it out so it's nice and clean. It doesn't have like a piece of the tape sticking out. Oh. I should have. So there's two steps to this. I forgot. So first you have to put the adapter onto the hoses. So you're putting that over the hose. Okay, so the new hose is 716th on the hose and on the adapter we have a 5 8 I'm just going to tighten them up like so. I'm going to do the Teflon tape over the, the adapter fitting, just like I did before. Wrap it a couple times, smooth it out, and get it started. Now you can do this the other way. If you want to put the adapter in first, then put it on the pipe, it doesn't really matter which which order you put this in. Now when you're putting this on, you can tell when it gets tight. You don't need to put a torque wrench on it. You don't need to, you don't need to use all your might. You can tell when it's, when it's snug in there and it's, it's on there nice and good. So there's the first one. Just gonna tighten that to get it out of the way so it makes it a little easier. Now let's go ahead and put our valve on here. I mean this goes on like whenever you hook up anything with your with any of these uh, propane tanks. It's just a it's just a valve. 
these things turn so you can have them facing the right direction so you can see them. Now the reason why I got the new hoses with this kit, you can see the difference. These hoses will stick out too far for the cover to go back on. The new hoses are, are 90 degrees. So everything is tight. I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side. Oh, connect the gas. Here's, here's the quick and dirty directions from gas stop. Connect it to your bottle. Tighten the gas stop cylinder, which are these. Connect your propane regulator. Pump this thing four to six times. And you're ready to go. So let's see what the Airstream store says. So we've done pretty much what it said to do. We've turned the gas off. We've taken the th stuff off. Um, we've taken off the pigtail hoses. We've put the new ones on. We haven't checked for leaks, which we're going to do right now. So basically, they give you this little bottle fill it up with water and then put three or four drops of dishwater, you know, dish, dish cleaner in it and shake it up. And it's just, it's basically just a soapy concoction like this. So I'm going to take this bottle. My soapy concoction bottle's got a tip that's jacked up. <laughs> so maybe I do have to use their bottle. I'll be right back. You know, it's probably good to have their little bottle of this in my um, tool kit in a Ziploc bag so if it does leak or anything it doesn't make a mess in my tools but I keep this on board when we're doing it. So you essentially spray on here and you're looking for bubbles. Now the gas escaping will make bubbles and you'll see the bubbles i mean it'll be painfully obvious it'll just be like you know it'll just be like a little spot where there's bubbles coming out like because there's a leak in the in this the gas will cause it to bubble i don't see any leaks on this so i'm going to take and just clean up my Clean up my stuff. So let me take my wing nut back off and grab the cover real quick. Not going to rust or anything like that, which is good. Got everything lined back up. I'll show you the inside here. So everything's hooked up. The 90 degree plugs look good. Everything's good. All I'm going to do is tighten this down and I am done. Once again, this is Jeff from Airstream Nerds. Thanks for watching Airstream Life Store. Check it out. Once again, this is Jeff and Jenny, and we're the Airstream Nerds. Please hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, put any comments below, and we'll see you on the next trip.